everyone so today i'm gonna make this wave bracelet so here's a little picture that i made so this might help you when making your forward backward and backward forward knots and so the white represents the bass string and then the blue represents the string that would be going over it so hopefully this helps you these are the colors i'm going to use um just white and then dmc this one is 3325 so if you want to use the same color that's the number and then i'm going to do three of the blue and then one two three four five of the white so I'm gonna cut those and I'll just do a wingspan, which is just from fingertips to fingertips so across your chest, and then you can fold it in half. So that'll be two of them, two, and I'll do one more. And I can show you how to do that. I now have my white, and this is just four of the strings. So I have my two really long ones, and then I take them and then line them up at the end and then fold it in half. So that is four strings. So that's four out of the five. So then I'm just gonna take my white and then line it up with the end of these and then go to right there and cut it. So then that makes five strings. So you can cut that loop right here. And then when you count, you have five different white strings. For blue now, you can do the same thing with the wingspan, but what I'm just gonna do is line it up and do three of them with the same length as this so that I know that they're all gonna be the same. So I'm just gonna go like this and then do that three times. should now have eight strings total so it will be three blues and five whites and make sure you have the right amount of strings so you won't have to worry about this later next I'm gonna tie a knot so I just take this go around like this and then pull it back through up here all of them like that and then I'm just gonna leave maybe that much because I like to make ties afterwards so that you have enough room to tie your bracelet and you can always tie it and then cut the extras off but it's not very good when you don't have enough ties because then you won't be able to get it on so i like to make them a little bit longer than i think they should be and so then i'll tape this down and we'll start with the pattern now i have all my strings taped down so i'm going to put them in order so as you can see here it's blue white blue white blue and then three whites so i'm going to organize this into that same thing I now have it all laid out and ready to go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is this one, number one on this first side. So this is a forward backward knot. So if you don't know how to do that, I'll give you a little refresher right here. So I'm just gonna move all my other strings over here. And then I'm gonna take this blue string because the blue is the first knot that we're doing. So this is the base string and you're gonna take this and you put it across and then pull it under so that's the first part of the knot and just bring it all the way up and then you go and bring it over here make another four and bring it through like that and pull it up so that is a backward or a forward backward knot sorry then the next one we're doing we'll move on to this other group which will be a backward forward knot with white over blue so I'll take the next two in my order and we'll do the same thing but the opposite. So first we'll do a backward knot, then bring it over here and do a forward knot. And now the next two with these will be the same. So they're both going to be backward forward knots with white. But the first one will be white over blue and the second one will just be white over white. So we'll take the white and the blue from over here. And we'll use the white as our leading string and we'll just make that four. Going that way and then back across over this way. And then I'll do the same thing with these two white ones. And that is the first row of the pattern. So the next one might be a little confusing with these edges, but basically what you do is we're gonna take our blue that we used before and we're just gonna leave it out because it's just out. And so then we're gonna take the white that was next in the pattern right here 
and then this blue that is on the left side of there you can just move these aside so these are the white and blue and you're going to do a forward backer knot with the white over the blue so for that one you do the four going this way and then it going back the other way The next one in the pattern is the same thing, it's just white over blue, forward, backward knot. So you're going to find the white from this one, and then the blue from this other one over here. The last knot in this row is another forward, back row, but it's just with the two whites. So this one on the very edge, you'll just leave out, we don't even do a knot with that one on this row. And then you'll just do forward and then backward. And that's two of the rows. Next will be another forward backward with blue. So now we're going to take this blue string again that we left out in the last row. And then I'm just going to spread this down and take this white string right here. Move all those to the side. And then we'll do a backward knot and then a forward knot. So that's the blue. The next one is again with white and blue, just the next two in order, but this time it is a backward forward with the white going over the blue string. The next one is basically the exact same thing. So you find this blue string and this white string here. These other two will be next. But then you do a backward knot and then a forward knot. And then the last one, same thing as usual, a backward and then a forward. So that is the third row. Now we're back to the fourth, which is a blue one right here. So this is a backward forward. Then we'll have a forward backward and another forward backward. So just like we did with the second row, this blue is just going to stay off to the side. And then you'll take the other blue and white, the next two up, and do a backward knot right here, and then a forward knot. And then the next two, like I said, will be with white. So I'll take this white one and then this blue one will be the base string. So it will be a forward backward. This one is also a forward backward with the two whites. And that is the fourth row. The fifth row will be two forward backwards with blues and then two backward forwards with whites. So I'll get these over here. So the first two right here are the blue and the white and we'll do a forward backward with this. Like that. And then the next one is also a forward backward with blue and white. So it's these next two in line right here. So we'll do a forward knot. and then a backward. And then the last two of these row will be right here. So I have this blue string as my base string and then this white one. So this will be a backward forward. The last one with the two whites is also a backward forward. And that is the fifth row. So the sixth is similar to the fourth and second, so I'm going to leave out the blue one. And then I'll take out these next two, which are blue and white, and I will do a backward forward. 
and the same thing with the next one with the blue and white. Then the last one, we're going to leave out this far white string, so we're not even going to use that one, and then we'll take these other two white strings and do a forward-backward. Now that you can see the blue is starting to come up for the wave, and then it will go over and then back down like this pattern right here. The seventh row is a lot of blue, so the first one, we'll take the first two. So this will be blue and white, and like always, we'll do a forward-backward with the white as the base string and the blue going over. The next one with blue again. So it's be blue and white, and it will be a forward-backward. And then another one with the third blue over the white. And then the last one at this row will be a backward forward. So we'll take the far white, go this way, and then back forward. The next row is eight, I believe, yeah. So this will be the same thing, we'll take out the edge blue, then it'll be the next blue and white, and we'll do a backward forward with the blue over the white. The next one is also with blue, and it's a backward forward over this other white. And then the last one in this row, we will take out this far white again, and then we will do a forward backward with these two. Now we're on to the ninth row, so I'll show you the pattern again. So we just did these rows right here. And then now we're going to do a forward, backward, backward, forward, forward, backward, and then backward, forward. So we'll take the far blue, do a forward, backward onto the white string. Then we will take the white string this time, make sure that you're using the white over the blue, so the blue will not be the base string. And we will do a backward knot, and then a forward knot. Now we're on the third knot, so I can just move these over. And this will be a blue again, so we're doing this one right here. And so it will be a forward backward with the blue over the white. And then the last knot of this row will be a backward forward with the two whites on the end. And that is the ninth row. So the tenth row, I'll get almost to the bottom, is a forward backward with white over blue. Then we have a backward forward with blue over white. And then the two whites together with a forward backward. So we'll leave out the first blue. And then take the next two. And this is a white knot, so it will be a forward-backward. Then it will be a blue knot, so it will be backward-forward. And then the last one will be a forward-backward with these two, and then leave the last one out. So this is the second to last row now, and it is a forward, backward, backward, forward, backward, forward, backward, forward. So it's blue and then three whites. So this first one, like always, down the whole pattern, on this left side, you will always do a forward, backward with this blue over this white. The next one is a white knot, so we will take these two and do white over blue, so it will be a backward forward. This next one is a, another white knot, but I will take this white over this blue and do a backward forward. 
And then with the last two, it will be another backward forward. Now for the very last row, it will be three knots, all of them white, and it is all backward forwards. And then I'll move on to the next one, which is again a blue base string. And then the last one will be right here with the last two whites. So forward, then backward. And that is the whole pattern. So now you would just go back up to the top and repeat this whole thing again and again until you have your full bracelet. So you can kind of see the wave right here and it'll just be like that the whole thing and I'll come back once mine is finished. Here's the finished bracelet. I did eight waves. Um, now I just need to do the tie. So I'm probably going to do twisted since there's two different colors. I could do those twisted, but I'll be back when they're done. And here are the ties. I did um, twisted, as you can see, with just the blue and the white. And then this is the back. It looks kind of cool. This is actually what you call a one-two pattern because it's all backward, forward, and forward, backward knots. There's no like normal forward or backward knots. So that's kind of cool, but here's the wave. Looks pretty good, but thank you for watching this tutorial. Um, please like and comment and subscribe, and I will see you next Tuesday.